here is the 1964 train air conditioner running. And I believe this is a two-ton air conditioner. Not totally sure, but a fellow YouTuber um, decoded the um, model number or serial number. I forget which one it was. They decoded the um, one of those numbers, and they believe it's a two-ton. And it is almost 90 degrees right now. It's going to get up to about 95 degrees. And with the humidity, it's supposed to feel like 99 degrees. And there is a excessive heat advisory for the area. So, yeah, definitely a good day to have the central air running. I actually have my truck idling with the air conditioner on full blast because it's so damn hot out. I don't want to turn off the AC in the truck. So yeah, this unit currently holds the record for the oldest operational central air conditioner I have found. There's the, the Patco. Don't know what year that is. There's the 73 Lennox. The 72 Addisons and um, the 68 Yorks. And this is from 64, so this is presently the oldest functional air conditioner I have a video of. Train. And it is very quiet. I mean, it's not silent, but it's quiet. And the owner of the home told me the other day that she had a bit of work done to it. Like she had some parts replaced. And she does not use it very much. Um, from what I've been told, the thermostat is actually set very high right now. So she doesn't um, use it very much at all. Like it was almost 90 yesterday and she didn't have it on at all. So the fact that it's rarely used and that um, the thermostat is kept at a fairly, fairly high temperature might have, a, might have played a role in its long life, but it's also probably because Train makes a damn good air conditioner. And I don't know what kind of compressor it has. Probably, you know, I don't know if they had Climatuff back then. It's probably just a reciprocating compressor. I don't know what the hell they used in them back then. So this thing was made in 1964, I believe April of 1964, it is 2011, so this unit is more than 47 years old as of right now, almost 50 years old and it still runs perfectly. good cleaning but other than that it's in decent shape considering how old it is it has a very robust sound to it box um, that appears to have been replaced um, I think it's a Siemens brand disconnect box but I'm not sure that just doesn't look original though um, 
air handler is up in the attic. Lines are getting uh, nice and sweaty and cold. I got my truck idling right over there. Like I said, it is so damn hot that I did not want to turn off the uh, air conditioner in the truck. All right, um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, this is a 1964 train two-ton central air conditioner at a house that was built in 1964-1965. It's got a separate hot water oil baseboard heating system with a with a boiler. I presume that's located in the basement. Um, and this house, it's, it's weird. Um, this is a, I mean, it's not a big house, but I'd say it's at least 1,800 to 2,000 square feet. I mean, I've never been in the house, but it looks like a fairly big house from the outside. And I would think a house of this size would need a little bit bigger than two tons. But then again, um, it could be just very well insulated because my very good friend, um, the one who's a drummer, who has the old house with the 87 carrier round one, that house is over 2,000 square feet. And you'd think it would need a 3.5 or 4 ton, but it just has a 3 ton. And then my neighbor has a... 2800 square foot townhouse it's under 2100 with the um fit with without the finished basement but the space of the finished basement brings it up to 2800 or so and you'd think that just the main levels not just the finished basement would require a 3.5 nominal ton but that house has a 2.5 nominal ton air conditioner and that my guess would be because it is an inner unit townhome that doesn't have windows on each side. It's like a middle unit townhome with um, other homes on either side. And my other neighbor's house that does not have a finished basement and is 2,080 square feet has a 2.5 ton unit as well. So um, sizes and everything. If it's a well insulated house, you can easily heat or cool a larger home with a 1.5 to 2.5 nominal ton air conditioner if the insulation is really good. At least that's what I've seen. Because um, also, geez, I'm running out of time here. Um, my neighbor who has the exact same house as me except it's reversed because it's on the other side of the building. They don't have dual zone. They have a 3.5 nominal ton air conditioner, whereas I have two two nominal tons so I have a total of four tons so I think if we had ordered our house with one zone it would have come with a 3.5 nominal ton because even though I have an we have end units there's still no windows on the other side so I think the fact that it's a townhome with no windows on one side plays a role in the um, ability of a smaller air conditioner to cool that house so um, Sizes and everything, it's all the insulation, and that's why I think this large house only has a two nominal ton air conditioner. It seems to have worked fine for almost half a century. So, only 34 seconds left, 32, 31. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. Out.